Bob the Blob has been traveling to gain money, butter, and reputation. And there's a tournament here in Sargot, but something else has happened. Something much better. War. War with Britannia, the neighbor. Vlandia's number one enemy. And whilst it was the Sturgeons that had taken Robolt and Toby Castle, it seems that whilst they were at war with the Sturgeons, they took Robolt and Toby Castle, allowing Vlandia to now engage with Batania for their old lands instead. Indeed, the blob, the buttery, blobbery bob, intends to use this opportunity to gain lots and lots of fame and lots and lots of money. He has a small army at his disposal and one he intends to fully use. He's got a good amount of cavalry in his army and that's actually what he has the most of. It. What are these? Oh, we've even got too many men now. Nice. A bunch of deserters here fighting each other? How quaint. Nothing we will be dealing with though. It's time to attack the enemy. But which one, I guess? Should the siege be joined? Should we go into Britannian lands and fight them there? Well, there's a smaller siege going on against 65 people. That does not seem like... That doesn't seem like a real battle. Ooh, Tegan. Is this man any good? We've got to be careful with lords, but... Maybe this man is not too powerful. He does have Forksman. Mm, he doesn't look like he's terrible. But he doesn't look like he's amazing either. Which means we have to engage him. And now he's fleeing. Hold oh. there. So tell me who Ah, uh, it's a young man, a young man who believes he can take on Bob the Blob. I do not believe he can! Bob the Blob is too blobulous! And luckily it seems we don't even have that many trees. And there's an edge to the water of the sea pretty close by, which means that he does not have a lot of places to hide. Why are they looking the wrong way? I said... See, I'm te okay, do you know what? Whatever. As long as they're looking the right direction, that's what matters. Now they are a-okay of going against us. So we will simply split our forces properly. Mounted archers! Mounted archers, I'm just going to throw them in there like a... A uh, hot potato. Not sure what or how or when or why otherwise. Cavalry. Yeah, now that I see how big their spears are, I definitely think the infantry should be running in at the same time. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's Tegan himself. He's on the floor. Get him. Get the Tegan. Let's be careful, these guys have their spears. Cavalry, get back again. What are you doing? Don't keep staying behind enemy lines. Got to be careful about this. Oh, yes. Are our rangers actually doing anything? I don't know. I don't know if they're doing anything. Oh, yeah, cavalry. It's, he sounded, it sounded like he said archers, but he didn't. Okay, this battle is probably close, or we are losing hard. It's a bit of both, because it might still be close even if we are losing hard. Because Bob the Blob is a powerful man. With powerful skewers. And the problem is, one shot may kill him. We need to stop these guys from taking on our archers, I think. Come 
Come on, guys. You can do it. Get up. Get them. They don't have armor or shields. Get them. I'm doing what I can, guys. They're going also for me. Okay, well, I mean, something happened there. Looks like it's just going to be Bob in the end, I think. Oh, fuck! Fudge, no! He took Cow Horse down! Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be rough. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. There's even someone not on the horse there. This shield's not going to last forever. Oh. Oh, well, that was oh, not looking good, is it? Oh, God. That no, there's too many! We didn't even get Tegan! Come on! No! Ah, oh, shit! Send troops. Do you want Serena? Serena doesn't do anything! Die fighting, I say. No. I don't know how much shit that did us. Looks like Tegan has shown the world just how globulous Bob really is. 1,000 yards. It's fine, I guess. Looks like we're going to be joining this army. Safest place to be right now. Maybe we'll get some free experience with people. Hmm. Yeah. Let's maximize this. Mount top speed minus accuracy penalty. Do not think that's going all right already. Ammunition is not needed. Yes. Reduced range damage taken. That does sound good. This one has a party leader option, so we're taking that. And here. Uh, healing rate when stationary. Or plus 10 hit points recovery after each offensive battle. Yes. More hit point regeneration after battle is good to me. Oh, they took Revolt. And now it's time for Toby Castle. It's a small, more battle, but we need a victory after that previous one. And Bob believes, even with his low health, that he can be of great service in this siege. Reduce the amount of people's deaths that are going to occur. Bob believes it. I believe it. It's all believing in the... House of the Cards, or something like that, isn't it? Oof. Well, looks like we can't help with that. These guys are not even really sticking their heads out. No, these guys seem like they're hard to hit on these walls, because they're not trying to... Oh, look, there's a guy. No, you're not allowed to do this. Not a lot of people coming to go out. Uh, ooh, nice, nice. We got someone. Hit them away. That's what we want to do. Ooh, yeah. Going back to shields, they are. Oh. Don't know if I can stop this guy. I'm at a really bad angle here. Well, I killed him. That's all right, then. Ah. <sighs> Oh, goodness. Someone needs to get rid of these enemy siege engines. It looks like it's going to have to be Bob. Oh, what? No. I was so proud of getting someone in the head with my misfiring weapon, and I didn't even notice that was going to happen to Bob. Huh? Uh, they're fighting a little bit and then letting them pass, and they're just running past, so... Now that is an interesting defense strategy and offensive strategy. Leaving the siege engine to last, it seems. Very sensible. 
got a banner on it, I guess. That's something. Alright, well, we were a part of it. No one really cares, and that's fine. Let's recoup our losses and... Well, we didn't have that much, except we did have butter. And now we don't have any butter. We must change the buttery situation. Barely have any horses. Although we do have the, the Cossian that we picked up that we couldn't ride, and we can ride it now, so that's something. Oh, there's not even any butter in here. What? What sort of nonsense is this? What's going on? Bob can't function without butter. No wonder he did so poorly in that previous battle. He needed butter. Wait, get away from me, Fennigan. No. You're not getting Bob at a weak point in his time life. Butter! Oh, there we go. That was dangerous. Ugh, no real horses here, but... This tournament, I suppose. What's in it? Wind's Fury. Sounds bad. Heat. Nobody's here. All right. Well, let's, uh, Belge's army is going to cross it to defend Talibor. Oh, it's being attacked. Is that something Bob can help with? I'm kind of feeling like he can't because he is. Well, he's going to have terrible troops when he gets down there. But he'll have to do his best because there is a lot of noble riders with him now. Huh. Excellent. Right, well, I mean, he's got the troops again, but they're just not very good. That's the problem. Uh, hopefully he can still do something with it. Oh, right, the followers, the companions. Bob forgot all about it in his glut for glory and... Uh, butter. He's still a prisoner of Tegan's party. Oh, Bob the Blob has grown up. And his mustache mutton chops have fully come in. How delightful. I almost didn't recognize him as a grown man. Tegan is last seen by Turby Castle. It's up north. So, nothing we have to deal with right now, but oh, lots of people are gathering around here. Lots of people are gathering and they look like they may want to go in. Well, you better... Go for it then, because if I initiate it, you're not in the battle. There we go. Now I can help them all whilst they're all there. My goodness, this is a massive one. Ooh, Karina's in here. Mmm, someone we can maybe buy and stick her in our dungeon for fun. Let's make all these old men and Liana like us. Bob the Blob will find redemption on this battlefield. Amongst all these fine soldiers. Shoot forward! Every move! Obviously his troops are going to stay behind a bit and then come in to sweep up the remnants if that's how it can go. Because, uh, you know, yeah. Strategy, smarts, quick horses. What are these guys doing? Doing what I'm doing. Oh! Bob the Blob killed a Kuzai Kashig! Without even aiming. Oh, I didn't even aim there. I, I mean, I should probably just not even aim. Just throw these things randomly. Okay. Maybe I was aiming a little bit. Since I... No, the Vlanians are doing the circle formation. Shit, we are screwed. Actually, we just need to kill these guys. Hopefully, they'll change formation. Because um, that is the worst formation you can ever do. Although, I'd be shocked if they changed positioning after some enemies died, because that reeks of strategy. And I suppose the Blandians are not known for that. Not good strategy anyway, it seems like, based on their placement. Now, we might have had the troop quality advantage and the troop number, but that advantage is gone in the circle formation, which is 
hot garbage. It's worse than hot garbage. You might as well be taking a steaming shit on your own face by breaking your back and then believing yourself capable of becoming a billionaire by selling your pictures. That is precisely what they're doing with that circle formation right now. And it's very disturbing. I really wish they just removed it from existence. Because whilst I'm sure there is a reasonable explanation for it in reality, the reality is that in Bannerlord there is no reasonable explanation to use this monstrosity, at least not 99% of the time. Oh, there's an enemy lord on the floor. And we're hitting her with stuff. Let's take her out. Haha. -ha. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, bad idea. Uh, bad idea. But we're taking out some lords, which may ruin uh, the enemy's morale at least. Ah, yes. Now the enemy will be able to fight with their full might, whilst ours are fighting with, I don't know, a third or a fourth of their might as the circle. Everyone behind to just aren't doing anything. And, you know, they probably weren't even able to fire their crossbows otherwise. This is, uh... Yeah, well, we have to kind of go in with our guys, because otherwise we'll bug it. Hopefully we can take some powerful guys out here. It is actually rather equal. I don't know if it's because of everybody that Bob has taken out or because our cavalry is actually doing something. We are losing a lot of troops, as you can see. And a lot of our troops are either fleeing or repositioning. Either is fine at this point, because honestly, I can't blame anybody for fleeing with such incompetent leadership. I just can't. Guys, go into the circle where your true power... See, they can't even finish the sentence. Is this how his people do battle? They do battle by trying to lose? Bob is not happy, man. Bob is not happy at all. There's a good chance Bob is going to just run away from this battle. Because I think... Yeah, everybody is running away. Oh, they're definitely backing off. But it's not a circle anymore, at least. Oh, so many enemies. Oh! Oh my god, look at all those huge pole arms. Is that not a frightening sight? Oh no! No! Run, Bob, run! Put away the shield and run! Fudge. Go down like a man, Bob! Go down like a man! Ah. Oh. Well, Bob did what he could. Now it's time to see if Vlandia is actually capable of doing anything at all. Okay, we still have our equal-ish amounts of men, and the attackers have defeated way more. Which makes a lot of sense, because that's the circle for you. Okay. For some reason... I don't know what this positioning is, but it's not that smart. Okay, um, I'm getting the feeling that Vlandia has lost this battle, so we're leaving. Goodbye, Vlandians. You guys ruined it with terrible, terrible tactics. Let's join. We have 27 wounded. We don't even have that many men. Well, this guy is going to know what to do. I hope. Where's he going? Oh, Sargot's being attacked. Oh dear. How many by? Oh. Now they don't care. Well. 
They're gonna still lose this one if they do the circle formation. True. We get to command the archers in this army. My goodness. We don't have a lot of health, but that is excellent. So that means no matter what, the, we can ignore the circle. The circle can just be a terrible infantry formation. And it won't affect the crossbow movement, which is key. Skirmish. Well, I don't know what you want me to do with that command, but can tell you I'm not sticking them inside a circle. Soldier move! Which you're going to say is the stupidest thing you've ever heard, First and that's way. because you're an idiot. But it doesn't matter, they will be doing their job. This is actually a pretty big moment. Lobulus Bob has never before commanded an entire regiment of soldiers. Soldiers move! It's pretty cool. For a, a grown, now a grown Blobulus Bobulus. A grown man. Who shouldn't be getting himself killed because he wants to help defeat the enemy. But it's okay. Soon the crossbowmen are coming. Yes, the horizon of crossbowmen. To rain down bolts on the enemies. And they do seem to be doing just that. We're moving them forward again though because more enemies are up in the trees. Where are all the enemies? Are they all there? Are the crossbowmen able to shoot from here? They all look like they're shooting. It's just that sounds are a lot more quiet than when you're doing boom. We are losing a lot of troops here, though. Maybe we shouldn't run uphill with cavalry whilst the infantry isn't there yet. Oh. Typically, you expect it to be the Batanians that have terrible battle tactics, and the Vlanians may have some good, but apparently not. I'm half a mind of telling the crossbowmen to stop firing and waiting until the Tanians have chased us back, but we'll see. No, I do believe we are winning. I do believe it's going to be a massive victory still, even though the losses will be great and unnecessary. And of course, someone runs up in front of us to catch our javelin. Very smart move for ten years. Ah, oh, right. There's some people trying to get onto our archers. That's not very nice. Let's get them. There we go. Oh, there are a lot of enemies here. But they're not exactly going forward. So, our crossbowmen who are right here on a massive line should be showing them good night. Yeah, this is what I said. Now that uh, our guys have backed off, our crossbowmen are free to do their job. Which is melt them into oblivion. This is all thanks to Bob the Blob, by the way. Imagine how poorly they'd be doing without me. Bob the Grown Blob. Now that he's a grown blob, maybe he needs to get a woman properly. Now that he has battled and... Oh, they're all closing in. Oh, we're going to back off because it looks like the motherland, Vlandia, just wants to let its troops die. Look at that. Look at where they're standing. A very silly place to stand when your archer line is being charged. Never mind. We will put them to the sword. Okay, well, we can't really allow ourselves to be knocked down, though. That's the thing. Let's hope the crossbowmen can do it, because the rest of the army is not intent on doing anything, it seems.
Well then do it! It's attack of the infantry! Are you stupid or something? Just go! I'll move them back, our archers backwards in hopes that they will actually do something. Just come on with the army, man! How stupid can you be? No. We're charging them. They're just getting killed otherwise. How stupid can this lord be? Very. Look, it looks like we are defeating them on our own without the stupid infantry. Oh my goodness. I guess they couldn't really comprehend how well it was going when they were not involved to ruin the archer's entire everything. Yeah. I'm already charging Rundolf. Bob is clearly more well versed in both buttery eating of greasy foods and battle. It's not just his fat limbs that are blubbering about. His brain is greased and lightning fast. There we go. We got no renown for that. We should have gotten all the renown. It's only Bob that did something. Yeah, you should be very grateful, Servic. We got a rough bear skin from that victory. Yes. Let us wear it. Batania's Bane! Bob the Blob is here. And he's here to stay. And with that army defeated, anybody striking? Sargot is next. Except, ah, uh, there's a few too many enemies there. For that, that we want to be able to run away. Or should we defeat these... Well, I suppose we should defeat these deserters first to get more health. And we're leveling up again! Bob the Blob is leveling up like heck. Okay, uh, let's get the last charm perk here. And... More endurance. Also gives more health. Which Bob the Blob needs to be a monster. Yes, reduce the penalty of herding and movement speed. I don't know if we have any herding, but we will not hurt from having you it now. Stop. Give us your silver. We're not playing games. Okay, Sword Sister. I didn't realize we were playing games. I don't know about you, but that sounded like playing games to me. All right, bandits. Come get you some lobulous bobulob. Show me what you got. Oh my god, there's way too many cavalry in here. Thought maybe they'd be a bit less. Oh, we're riding so fast now. Can't hit anything. Yeah, oh, I'll ride a bit slower and we can. Hey, that's the... Yeah, got her. Got her, the weird one there with a man voice. Maybe she played a little bit too much Divinity Original Sin, eh? Wait, no, that's the wrong one. BG3. <laughs> oh, maybe she is the Original Sin. I don't know. Could be. Okay, the enemy cavalry are going to come back soon. All right, got that guy. It's just the cavalry left now. We are riding around and we have a little bit of time to try and stop them before they get all our guys. Gotta pick off the stragglers if we weren't so fast! Oh, a big shield. Powerful shield. Tanking all of our skewers. Oh god, now coming for my horse. Got to be careful here. We can't let the horse get... Uh oh Ah! Okay, we've got to make sure that we're riding straight ahead. Just don't hit any trees. Is the plan. Alright, let's do a turn. Let's make sure they can't just chase us for free. We will not let them beat Blob. Blob the Bob. Bob the Blob. They shall not have Bob! Bob shall have them!
All right, let's try to get him. We can't let them. Get in here, guys. Do you think you can chase Bob through these trees? Mm, you can, but not well. Not without sacrificing a few horses, it seems. Bob's buttered skewers will save him from anything. Any day, any... Uh-oh. Oh, it's the vanguards there fast. But not fast enough normally. How are we the cat? We're fighting one via million. You shut your mouth. You expect them to just ride against you? That's stupid. Now, the only the terrible thing that may happen is that we accidentally walk into one of the guys we have demounted. Well, obviously, a lot of things can go wrong. That's not the... That's the, one of the ones I'm afraid of. Ah, uh, another one is slowing down too much and getting a horse killed. Maybe we can just run in a circle here. There's enough space. I feel like it might be more dangerous to run in a circle. Especially because of how fast we are and then what would happen if we ran into a... Going all right. Oh fuck! Go! Oh! <laughs> None of them could capitalize on it. Uh oh! Some of them are going rogue. Oh, I don't like. Some of them are going rogue over there. I better. Put a bit more distance between myself and them. You know, right? Riding around so many enemy cavalry and striking them down one by one very slowly does remind me a little bit of playing warband. Obviously, you would do it with a bow and arrow there, but still. Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. There's plenty of enemies left that we need to take care of. We need to be sure that they can't randomly strike us down. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a calculated risk. Not really worth it, honestly, because it was probably going to go wrong, but it didn't somehow. We're quite lucky there. Ride, horse, ride! Oh, our horse has next to no health, which is bad. Very bad. We may have to start circling again, because... Well... Oh, shit. Okay. No! No, Bob! Oh, come on. Oh, well, at least Vlandia's terrible tactics were not... Uh, they can't do terrible tactics when there's auto-resolve.